Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the three main things that I learned while I was getting my BFA in illustration. It's coming up on the third anniversary, I think, since I graduated. And there were, there were some things that really stuck with me that helped me to really continue growing and improving after I graduated up till now. So I find that it's actually very helpful for me to be able to look back at those lessons that I learned and make sure that I'm still applying it to, to my work. So I'm not getting lax with that kind of an approach, but, but hopefully some of these things will be inspiring to you guys to also see where you can build up your own skills that you have. So, so let's just jump right in with the very first thing on my list of three, and that's using reference. This one was such a game changer for me. It seems pretty obvious to some people maybe, but at that point in my life, I was just really, really focused in on working on a very stylized approach to my artwork. So I was looking at how other artists drew certain things and that was my form of reference. And it's very helpful to see how other artists interpret things, but at the end of the day, that, that can only give you their view of something. They're already editing things out and adding things in and changing what something looks like. And Ultimately, you want to be able to create something that that has your look to it, that has your filter and vision. And, and that's where actual reference comes in. When you look at reference and you can see what, what the thing that you're drawing actually looks like, and you can mix in looking at how several different artists are interpreting that, then you can begin to see how you want to interpret it and how you want to edit it into your work. And at that point in my life, I just was was not using it at all. So there was so many things that I really struggled with when it came time to sitting down and drawing. And it made a lot of things very unenjoyable to work on. But once I really started just embracing using reference for everything that I was doing, I was looking it up for even something very simple. I found that I was getting much better at understanding the forms and the shapes that I was drawing all the time, but I just didn't understand. And once I got much more comfortable with that, I was able to understand the reference that I was working on with, and I was able to draw things much quicker and easier and better. And everything just became much more effortless than it was before. And I didn't have to struggle trying to draw something that I didn't know what it looked like. So, Yes, that was a, a huge one for me. At this point now, I feel like maybe I could pull back a little bit from, from relying so heavily on reference. I would like to bring in just a little bit more uh, finesse or stylization to certain elements. But there's a lot of other things that I would like to do more reference for. I want to take my own reference of of actual lighting situations and things like that. So, So I do know that I can really fine tune how I do use my reference so that I can get more information. I can create artwork that's, that's better. <laughs> it just has more information to it. And the things that isn't there that I am editing out is because I did edit it out because I chose to remove that and make the artwork better that way. So, so yes, that one is still something that has really stuck with me. I, I work with references all the time and I, I'm much happier with the process now. The second main thing that I learned was how to self critique. So every single class that I took that we created artwork in the class, we always had critique time after an assignment was over. Everyone would hang up their pieces and different classes would have different formats of how we would structure the critique time. But, but we would always go through and critique our own work and critique others work and that just helped open my eyes to how I can structure my own time when I'm looking at my own work to figure out where I can actually improve on. Now I like to work on that as I'm working on the piece, but also after I finish a piece, I will sit down and look at it and look for, first off, anything that I think I improved on in that piece of work or anything that worked particularly well because that is of course also very important. If I can implement that in future pieces that I'm doing, then I want to be able to keep stock of all the good things that I'm doing. But I also take time to look for the errors in the piece, things that could have been improved on, and also things that I may have struggled with, even if in the end they end up looking okay. And 
And then I take some time to figure out what would have been a solution to the problems that I had in the piece. And this just helps me so much to be able to have a very structured approach to improving. Before this, before I had these critique sessions, it felt much more like I would create work and then just kind of beat my head against it, not sure what went wrong, not sure what I could have done better, but knowing that it just wasn't quite right. And now I'm able to put it into actual concrete, actionable goals. I can break down the piece because I've learned certain things that I do struggle with and specific elements that I can make sure that I'm po paying attention to. There we go. And uh, it just, it makes me feel much more in control of my work. When I make a mistake, I feel like it's okay because I know how to learn from it and I know how to do better as I do other pieces from that. So this is just a very empowering thing that I've learned. And, and really, this is something that anyone can learn how to do. You can just sit down and take a minute to look at the work that you have done and remember the issues that you had. Look at them and try to come up with solutions. And then in the next pieces that you do do, you can implement those and see if they work, if that improves the work that you're working on. <laughs> And the very last, the third thing that I learned that really still helps me to make better artwork is probably the biggest one, and that's work ethic. So before I went to school, I would, I would start things and never finish them. I wouldn't have goals for larger projects. I would really struggle with a piece and then get frustrated and then stop, or I would create something that was not quite right, not quite there because I was just feeling lazy and I just wanted to get it done and over with. And this is something that maybe a lot of you do struggle with. Maybe a lot of you do not because you have better work ethic than I did, but I actually needed that structure from a class, that accountability that I had to create something and I would have to show it to everyone so it had better be good. That completely changed the way that I approached my artwork. I I of course began making more artwork than I ever had before because I was taking tons of art classes and every single class I had to take, I, I had to create multiple pieces of artwork at the exact same time. So I found that I was putting much more attention into the work that I was creating. I was being more, more focused when I was creating it so that I could get a better outcome without having to to restart things or start things and realize that it was just not going to work because I didn't put in the time at the beginning stages that I needed to. And there was just so many times where I, I struggled and I failed because I didn't have strong enough work ethic at that point. I, I hadn't really learned how to approach it in a much more career minded way, I guess, with my artwork where, where the end goal 100% mattered. I wanted to create something that was truly a piece of artwork and I put my all into it and I, I really needed that. I needed that structure. I needed the, the ability to create something around a prompt and then make it happen and make it happen on time. That was also a big thing was just timing myself and making it within the deadline so that it wasn't that I had a half finished painting that was sitting on a shelf and I would eventually finish it, maybe. Instead, I I sat down and I finished my artwork and I got it done. And that was just so, so motivating. It gave me so much, so much excitement about creating my artwork, but also motivation to create new artwork, to jump to the next assignment and to make more. And it was a very, it was a very good change for me to be able to have that that structure, that accountability behind my work. And, and I loved it. I really thrived off of that. And that's something that I, I wanted to make sure that I continued after I graduated that same structure and, and rigorous pursuit of creating more artwork so that I, I didn't want to stop having classes. And then my, my work would peter out. I wouldn't be making as much, or I wouldn't be making as high quality stuff. So I truly think that that was, that was a huge turning point for me being in that kind of environment taught me how to be able to be a professional after I graduated to, 
to continue making artwork and to make artwork on a deadline that I would self-impose for myself. And those are the three main things that really impacted the way that I create my artwork and how I get better at making artwork. So yeah, I hopefully that gives you some ideas of things to focus on that might help you guys improve as well. But but yeah, this original painting is available at my shop. So if you'd like to own that, there's a link down in the description. There is also prints available of her as well. That's of course down in the description as well. And uh, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons. As always, you guys are incredible. I cannot thank you enough for all the support that you do give me. And you may notice I have a slightly different setting behind me. That's because I just moved to my first house. So there will be a new studio tour coming soon. I'm really excited to show you guys all the things that I've done because I can actually make it my own. But, but yeah, that's about it for today. I'll be back next week with another art video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then. Thank you.